what is up tbh um i've been wanting to build a pc for the longest but i don't know what to start with do you have any tips on what to get All right, so Serrano wants to learn about building a PC. I've asked, I've answered this question a million times on stream and videos, and I could be an asshole, but instead I'm gonna answer it one more time so you can't say I don't have it on record. I got you, bro. When it comes to building a PC, you asked, you need some tips on how to do it and what should you get? First of all, you need to decide what is your budget. That is the most, I, I hate when people ask me about building a PC and they don't have a budget. Is it $600, is it $800, is it $1,500, is it 3000 First decide how much do you wanna spend on your PC. Set that budget, that is very important in terms of what your build is going to be. Then, the best site to go and find parts is get your pen, get your pad out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not gonna keep repeating myself. PCPartPicker.com. Once again, PCPartPicker.com. PC Part Picker is great. I built my last two PCs there. Everybody in GI I know uses it. It's a very popular site. And what makes this site great is it will not, you, you have to try to fuck up on PCPartPicker.com. It actually guides you through it, right? So what you do is you pick your motherboard that you're interested in. And I would suggest that any part that you're interested in that you find on there, make sure you go on YouTube and watch some reviews. People see what people are saying or read the reviews like on Amazon or something like that to see what people are saying. Is it a great product? This, that, and the third. So you start off, you pick your motherboard off of the site. And what the site does is it eliminates all parts that are not compatible with your motherboard. So it's impossible. I don't want to say it's impossible, but it's damn near impossible to fuck it up because you can't pick parts that are not compatible with your PC build. So once you pick your motherboard, it's then gonna show you all the CPUs that are compatible with your motherboard, all the GPUs that are compatible with your motherboard, all the RAM that's compatible with your, with your motherboard, and you just pick from that based off of what your budget is, what the reviews say, um, and then you can order the parts off of there, but uh, I would suggest going online and uh, looking for cheaper prices before you decide because they might not necessarily have the cheap price. So what you want to do is you basically want to build the PC uh, from PC Part Picker so that you don't fuck up your build. And then once you get to the end and you have your list of parts that you need, just Google the parts. Uh, what I did is I picked all my parts off PC Part Picker and then I opened another tab and I went on Amazon and I bought all those parts that I needed and I put my PC together like that. You can get it off. Look on Amazon for good deals. Look on... Um, What's that shit called? Newegg, uh, of course, PC Part Picker, and then the other side, just Google uh, the different parts. That's the that's the easiest way you want to build it. Now, when it comes to building the PC, building PCs is like, it's like adult Legos, to be honest. It's really not that hard. This goes in that. This goes in that. Uh, the CPU is very, first of all, you just screw the motherboard onto the case, and then the CPU goes inside the motherboard. It'll be like this little square thing. It's very obvious. Then your GPU, there's a slot like towards the middle of the motherboard. You literally just... I don't want to say jam it in, but you push it in and you screw it in. Like it's 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 honestly not that hard. The first time you build a PC, it might take you a couple hours, but it's only gonna take you a couple hours because your ass is nervous. Um, but the second time, and that's how I was. The second time that I built my PC, it took me like an hour to do it. Uh, and that's mainly because like sometimes the parts kind of intertwine the cable management basically sometimes some of the parts can be hard to put in uh like the power supply and then all the cords because there's not a lot of space in there and you can hand like i got big ass hands hey uh what's the name <laughs> what's the name so it could be hard kind of but, but but actually doing the basics is very easy um just make sure when you're building your pc that uh you before you actually touch any of your parts or like put them inside the, the case, make sure you touch something so you can get rid of any electrical static inside your body. Make sure you touch something, then touch the PC part, put it in. When you grab another PC part, touch touch the desk, get rid of your electrical wiring, not wiring, but electrical static in your body, then touch the PC part. Because if you don't and you got electricity running through your body and you shock one of your PC parts, you could fuck it up. So that's one of the main tips that I give. Um, if you need more help, like more in-depth help with building PCs, I suggest checking out the YouTube channel, uh, Linus, Te Linus Tech Tips. He does good PC videos um, on YouTube as well, as well as I watch Paul's Hardware on YouTube. He does really good PC uh, build uh, stuff. But honestly, it's, it's really not that hard. You just gotta take the time to Google it. Uh, I always say, if you wanna get into PC gaming, you need to take the time to educate yourself. If you don't wanna take the time to educate yourself, 
just buy a pre-build or don't even get into PC gaming at all because one thing that's different about PC gaming is if something's wrong with your PC, you can't call Xbox support, you can't call Sony support, your ass is gonna have to get on forums and read what your, you're gonna have to look up what your problem is and get on forums and try to figure out and, and troubleshoot yourself like you're gonna spend hours doing that. Now, uh, my PC is only, my old PC only fucked up like once and then I managed to fix it. So it's not something that you're constantly gonna be doing, but just know that there's no customer support because your PC is custom. You're going to have to give yourself customer support. <laughs> and uh, going back to uh, what I said about your budget and stuff like that, the reason you want to determine your budget first is because when it comes to building PC, it's it's, it's your custom PC. Um, so you need to customize your budget. And uh, that's the advice I would give on you. If you don't want to do none of that, go on a, a site and buy a pre-build. Some great pre-builds. Uh, Origin PCs I know are good. Uh, I think Ironside makes good PCs. Um, there's a couple other sites. Just just look up, just Google pre-build PCs and look at some reviews. Uh, one one brand that I would say stay away from if you're trying to buy a pre-build PC, PC is Cyber Power PC. I repeat, Cyber Power PC. They they sell them on Amazon. They look like good deals because they have the specs in them. They're absolutely fucking ass, bro. They're absolutely fucking ass. Don't stay away from them. I bought one of those for somebody and that shit broke down like a week later. We call customer support. They ignore you. I looked them up on the Better Business Bureau. They have like a one star. So they're known for being trash cans. Do not trust them. They're build their ass. Uh, also, one more thing. Um, like I said, when it comes to the budget, decide what you want to do with your gaming PC. Do you just want to game on your PC or do you also want to game and stream as well as edit? If you want to game, stream, edit, all that stuff, do not get a Core i5 CPU. Get a Core i7 or an i9 um so that you can you get that extra horsepower um if you don't know what you want to do with your pc besides gaming i would su still suggest giving getting yourself an i7 just to give yourself that wiggle room because maybe one day you decide you want to stream or you want to make youtube videos um, or any type of online content creation uh give yourself that wiggle room so get that i7 at least uh i got an i7 6700k with four cores uh cpus all right i would suggest I would suggest getting something with at least six cores. I kind of regret it. Um, the more cores, the better, because that means it can multitask more. Uh, more is always better. So uh, I would suggest getting something with at least an i7 with at least six cores. Uh, I think you get eight cores as well. You probably get 12 too, I think now. Um, I'm probably gonna upgrade my CPU eventually. I'm sitting here talking about my build. So yeah, that's the advice I would give to you. Hopefully it helps. The main thing I hope you take out of this is decide your budget and go to pcpartpicker.com. That should be the main two things that you took out of this. Hopefully that helped because uh, I'm tired of answering this question. <laughs> um, anyways, moving on. Uh, the Black Ops 4 beta trailer just dropped. Not beta trailer. The Black Ops 4 Battle Royale trailer dropped this week. I think uh, it starts next week at like the 10th or the 11th. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you'll never miss another video. Also, consider pledging my Patreon. It helps keep the lights on. There's a link in the description box below. Peace.